What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and today you guys have been asking for the next basically next step in the leveling guide which is we're going to cover 75 through 80. Now as you guys may know if you've been following the channel I made a pretty fast progression from 75 to 80. That was after I became an arbalist and um, optimized my arbalist and really ran a lot of magic square um, even from like, like I did 78 through 79 in like 24 hours. Um, so it's, it's definitely doable. And we're going to talk about the primary spots where you want to level AFK. And then I'm going to be honest with you guys. Well, here's what we're going to start with. What we're going to start with is the fact that magic square is you got to be your best friend. Like even maybe 70 plus, but definitely 75 plus. You know, if you are uh, going to do anything extra, any kind of gold stuff, I mean, you want to do like daily packages and things like that, but if you have any gold, you know, investing in Magic Square tickets can be quite, um, quite helpful and quite, you know, good for your leveling because it's just where you get the most XP. Now, that being said, you need to be optimized for Magic Square. As an Arbalist, it took me some time to get optimized. Um, I would say I was ranging from 4-1 all the way up to 4-3 by the time I got finished leveling to 80. So I believe from 75 to 80, I, I varied from 4-1 to 4-3 um, experience chambers. So that's where you really should be. I honestly do not recall my exact ticket rate, but I do believe I was around, uh, had got up to around 13 to 14 mil by the time I hit 80. I think I started around, you know, after hitting the Arbalest, around 8 to 9 mil per ticket. Uh, so that's something you should gauge your, you know, understanding on. Uh, it was, of course, going to be easier for Mages and uh, Arbalest. Everyone else is probably going to manual it. Um, you know, I, I, my main goal switching to Arbalest was to be AFK XP. -er. But I'm going to tell you guys, the game is a grind. So, Magic Square is your friend. You want to spend as many tickets as possible in there each day. You want to be optimized, doing your optimal room. Making sure you're not having a PvP and all that good stuff. That's that's the best way to go. Um, then you can also utilize Secret Peak. Now, Secret Peak, I think I was on probably 3F at the time. I don't think I tried 4. Yeah, I don't think I did 4F. 4F was in the 80s. 3F would be in the 75 to 80 range. And this is the monster levels are 60 to 70. And you got two spots really. <laughs> the spots that are on the ground level and then the two spots that are on the mountain level. So on the top left of the bottom level is one XP spot. The bottom bottom right of the bottom level is another XP spot. This is where the mobs are aggro mobs, meaning if you run through them, they chase you. Those are spots you want to be in. They contain three of the elite monsters. Um, same thing on the top levels on the both the top and bottom of the map, the north and south end. There is a group of mobs like that as well. You should know it if you've been running around Secret Peak. They will chase you, and that is also where there are three elites as well. I think they're elites and not uniques. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, those are the two main spots you want to EXP if you're going to EXP in um, Secret Peak. Well, four main spots, but two different groups of mobs. The ones on the bottom level are lower level. The ones on top level are higher level. So if you're just 75, if you're not tuned up too good, if you not don't have your codex done, you're probably going to be on the bottom mobs. If you are um, in a good shape, then you'll be on the top mobs, which I believe is the snakes, the cobra looking things. Um, you know, they can be a little bit difficult, but by the time you hit 77 or so, you should definitely be up there, 78. Um, so that's what you want to use Secret Peak for. You want to do some XP in there. This is if you were like, if you want to go hardcore XP, this is the things you need to focus on. So like I said, Magic Square, you should be on floor 4F, um, if possible. I see that it is 70 to 85. I know some people aren't going to end up on like 3-3 or 3-2, worst case scenario. You're going to do what works best for you. If you work on your codex and things like that, you should be able to do a little bit better. If you're going to manual, you can also do it. You should probably do it like a floor up from what you can AFK. Um, but make sure you're optimized, guys. We already talked about in the previous episodes Like you need to make sure you're using magic stones that suit your you know your kill speed not necessarily experience the, the experience you get from stones are, is not enough to really counter the fact that you need to do the extra damage you do the extra damage you kill miles faster it helps a lot i tested this just the other day i tested a new spot that i found i actually had 
one of my epic pets in that just boosts my HP and survivability and things like that. Maybe gives me a little bit of boost in DPS. I think it was like 8% monster attack damage. I was getting much more EXP using that spirit than when I switched it out to an XP, XP spirit. Even though I can still kill the mobs, I'm killing them a lot slower. So bear that in mind that it's very, very important. Make sure you optimize your build for kill speed as well as XP. And your spirit should really be what you tweak in terms of adding in XP spirits and removing XP spirits. That's where you want to tweak your damage. Uh, and honestly, I would just say don't use don't use XP um, stones unless you have like a nice set of epic stones that have really good substats. You definitely don't want to use the rare XP stones. It's just not worth it any way, shape, or form. You should be using DPS stones. That's that. That's my spiel there. Now let's get into the AFK spots. So your AFK spots, you can still do decent on um, the goblins in secret mine so if you're struggling a bit that's a good place to be next up I'm gonna show you some spots on phantom woods well really one spot it's really kind of hard to get any good spots in here there's one or two spots that might work for you so let's see if I can get a good landmark here um, I'm gonna port to the uh, yeah we'll go to the sundry so we'll go to a sundry and I'll show you guys the first spot. Alright, so right down here, I can already see someone's in here. This spot is going to be mainly for maybe Taos, Arbalist, and um, Sorcerers. It's a good spot where you can stand in the middle and hit the mobs. Uh, it's not a ton of mobs here, but it's pretty decent XP, especially if the goblins are full. Um, as a Lancer, I got stuck under this bridge, so it really didn't work out. As a Warrior, probably going to have some difficulties as well. Then, if you run up this mountain up here, it's not amazing, but there is a group of these armado looking things here that is is okay. Other than that, I really don't have many good places on Phantom Woods that I really bother with. The next step you really want to be heading toward is Heaven's Way. The reason for this is the goblins are just so good. You really, if you need to try, you need to try to get a goblin spot. That's a good place to be. Another option for you. From the 75 to 80 range, I believe it's going to be Snake Valley 3F. If you can handle it, there's this spot at the bottom of the stairs here that has a pretty high density of mobs. It's a very good spot to try to XP in, but if you you got enemies in the valley, that might be kind of hard. But it is an option if, the, if it's available to you, this area down here in Snake Valley. Then the primary area is going to be in Heaven's Way. I believe I showed this on stream a few times, but let's start over here at um, the Predator Merkin. We're going to port to Predator Merkin. So before I get into Predator Merkin in this area, I will say this. Um, down here at the entrance to Heaven's Way, like if you port in here normally, this area has like some animals and stuff that is pretty fairly easy to handle. It's not going to be the most amazing XP, but it's going to be decent and it's easy to handle. The first spot that really gives kind of better XP is going to be up here. You can start in this corner and then maybe you will or won't pull the boss. So you might want to make sure you can handle the boss. And then you also have this side over here. You can have this as a starting point right in here. And there's a pretty decent concentration of mobs. Now, if we move further down west, um, let's see, down to this next. I'll, I'll basically go in order of like how the spots are. This spot definitely is mediocre, but not too terrible. Up here, if you can handle the boss, great. Um, make sure you can get the boss, or you want to move further down. Again, decent mobs, not the best concentration. You got, you got this gap in here. You don't really like that. So, you know, it's still an option, though, if you want to level. Now, this is one of the better spots right here. And I was even doing this as a Lancer before I was able to do the Arbalist. And once I got the Arbalist strong enough to do here, it was an even better spot. So decent concentration of mobs usually pull three at a time at least if you hit ones further away. But very good uh, AFK spot. Now I'm going to show you the God spot. Most people know about this by this point. But this spot over here is the God spot. I mean it just is. Uh, especially for range, especially for mages and arbalists. Where you, if you can wipe everything, great. 
So you really need to make sure you tweak yourself for survivability here. You're going to pull a lot of mobs. As you can see, they're going to get three at a time. And as an arbalist here, I would be wiping out everything here. And this is still a really good spot for me. I can do like 10 to 12 mil an hour here. Again, it all depends on your XP. Um, if you're not running the, the battle pass, AKA Samardi scroll, it's going to slow you down. I mean, it just is. So this is kind of like the final spot where I'd say like you get to where you can get to 80. That's what I did. This is kind of like my big spot for a long, long time. Uh, especially up through 80 and even creeping into the 80s so that's going to be it for this episode this is 75 to 80 if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments uh again guys make sure you're tweaking your sets optimizing your kill speed that's the most important thing and i'll do probably do another video i'm not sure if i'm gonna do 80 to 90 or 80 to 85 i'll have to wait and see but i do want to go ahead and get this out there for you guys 75 to 80 is a very important gap because that's where you lose a lot of players That's where a lot of players slow down and they're not leveling as fast if you can push through that's great You do like me I bumped up a lot in my level rank from 75 to 80 because I pushed hard and if you use some extra tickets Push a little bit harder. you will be good to go So hope you guys enjoyed the information if you like the guys, please hit the like button Now subscribe to you hit that subscribe button turn on notifications on I'll catch you guys in the next video later